leaving the town for all the travelers on their way to the sound but we can do better when the sun goes down and pave the way for sweet relief so i introduce the good thistle bill to clear blackberry bushes from the side of the hill and next to the road and across from the mill to keep away unintended grief yes we stand for freedom to travel around and to get relief and here where it is found so we'll dig up all of these thistles inside so you don't break your brick in the night applause until you hear the whole tale it's short and it's sad and unequivocally male consuming all coffee that one can corral is the start of this fair warning he stopped past the mill to find a tree but with none to be found he soon led willie free among all the thistles and cried out bitterly and we couldn't pull him out until the morning yeah we stand for freedom to travel around and to get relief and here where it is found so we'll dig up all of these thistles inside so you don't break your brick in the night Consider this tale before voting today And think of yourself in a similar way Just then the whole hall roared with a number of yes We don't want our bricks bricked in the night Yes, we stand for freedom to travel around And to get relief and ill where it is found So we'll dig up all of these thistles inside So you don't break your brick in the night
can take this chance and make my loved ones proud and show every possibility. The worst failure fears can't hold me now since I've already shaken free. So watch and let me show you what's after. I step out in the sun Excited by the shine I know I'm never alone And that this path is mine Whoa. See I know this place On the county line we out there well, Let me tell you about it now You take the truck down there In the heat of the day You'll find nobody has a question to ask The house is bored up The lines are down The roads are just a mowed down grass And there's only Water makes the best shine, but there's a wretched, winged, evil local, and he's only got blood on his mind. So when it comes time to pick your company, hey, you best not pick your friends, no. Hey, you best not go. Keep your head clear, stay away. 
lads be of good cheer for the Irish land will soon draw near in a few more days we'll sight Cape Clear Jenny get your oat cakes done What jamboree, what jamboree You sometimes sell a haul upon the line What jamboree, what jamboree Jenny get your oat cakes done It is in sight. We'll be off Hollyhead by tomorrow night and we'll steer a course for the old rock light. Jenny, get your oat cakes done. Hook jamboree, hook jamboree. You sometimes sail a hole upon the line. Whoop jamboree, whoop jamboree. Jenny, get your oat cakes done. Round the rock, all the hammocks lashed, and the chests all locked, and we'll holler into the Waterloo dock. Jenny, get your oat cakes done. Hook jamboree, hook jamboree. You sometimes sell a haul upon the line. Hook jamboree, hook jamboree. Jenny, get your oat cakes done. We're all in luck. We'll be off to Dan Lowry's on the spot, and we'll have ourselves a good roundabout. Jenny, get your oat cakes done. Hook jamboree, hook jamboree. You sometimes sell a haul upon the line. Hook jamboree, hook jamboree. Jenny, get your oat cakes done. Hook jamboree, hook jamboree. You sometimes sell a haul upon the line. Hook jamboree, hook jamboree. Jenny, get your oat cakes done. Surprise, surprise, thinking I was happily reserved. Knowing really nothing and being so absurd. For you took my eyes with your lovely words on the premiere summer night. First in Paramount, you took my sight. And you don't need to tell me what I found, Shaman Mirror. Take me over, love, you're the common deer. Sub rows of chimps and quirks waiting to be explored. And both of us have a yearning to always learn a little more. As we barter like pirates while the tide is out from shore yeah. Waiting to be taken to another world Where our love will be unfurled And I don't know how this was seated to me But I grovel here Take me over, love, you're the common deer.
I'm gonna take it to the cities, I'm gonna take it to the towns. And over a dram of rum, I'll tell the Elliots what I found. I'll tell them to keep their ears wide as they travel round. <laughs> For our love story will go far. Mythologized, kept on par. And with every thought of you, my face fills between the ears. Take me over, love, you're the common dear. James and Virgil, and we were thirsty for some whiskey, but had not a penny to our names. My boots were too dusty and my muscles too tired to sit with some inbreds and lie through my teeth for a few card games. So the other four boys got a table, and I moseyed on up to the bar. They often joked there was more silver on my tongue than in all of Tombstone, so I said, Barkeep. We came in only with our guns and good looks. We ain't good with the broom, ain't good with the books, but a drink would liven up our weary bones. What do you say? And he said, empty your wheel gun out on the bar and we'll see how many rounds there are. Now, one shot for one shot and I only deal in a 45. One shot and that leaves you with one shot for your life. Well, I looked at the bullets, but I looked longer at the bottle. As much as I hated to part with those five rounds, life's for taking chances. So I told the boys we had a deal and they all came up for their drinks. Then my eyes stopped at the stairs and Big Nose Kate and I were exchanging glances. Last I saw her was when the rangers took me from her bed, but she helped me escape before they could put a rope around my neck. She walked on over to where the mouth breathers were playing. They spouted a curse at her. I guess they weren't playing with a whole deck. I said, you got one shot to apologize or I'll put one shot between your eyes. One shot for one shot and I only deal in a 45. One shot is all you got. Yeah, you got one shot for your life. And he said something dumb like he don't apologize to whores. So I figured he was asking for all the things that would come next. I still had my whiskey in my hand when he reached for his gun. But he was all wrist and it's all hip, so I kept my word a la tete. And then I was empty, but I hadn't spilled a drop. His friend made a move, but I was quick to my knife. He knew he'd been beat by the shine of the blade. I finally drank and said, give me your bullets and I'll let you leave with your life. <laughs> well, before he ran, he let them fall on the ground and I bought the boys and Kate's another round. <laughs> one shot for one shot and I only deal in a 45. One shot is all you got.
Hello, everyone. Welcome to the spooky live stream. Spooky. Hey, everybody. How's it going? <laughs> oh, we're going to have some goofy, spooky fun tonight. How is everybody doing out there? Wow, I see you guys all in the chat up just way early. You guys are the best. Hey, Roberto. Hey, Alan. Lucas. Thomas. Katie. El Chapo. Sean Carter. Neil. Oh, it's a late night for you over there in Scotland. I'm happy you're here, buddy. Hey, John. Hey, Wes. Good to see you guys here. <laughs> We're going to have some fun tonight. That's right. I've got lots of music going on. Got lots of boot chat. We're going to have some fun. And I'm going to be doing some giveaways too. So maybe we should just jump right into it for everybody who's in here really early. So let's do a little giveaway because I always appreciate you guys who are jumping right on right away. Whoo! Good to see you. Death, death like reviews. Been looking forward to this all week. Me too. I'm so happy. Mm. So let's 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 do this. I'm gonna show you the first giveaway. I'm gonna show you the first giveaway here, and uh, then I will jump into the music. I just want to make sure that you guys are rewarded, and uh, my gratitude is shown to you. We got a a. a Bottle opener here from Twisted Willow Fabrication up for grabs and a boot wallet and a CD. So you guys know how this works. You put the comments in the live stream. When I say comment now, here we go, here we go. A little different setup today, so I got to stretch a little bit. Uh, comment now. Explo excuse the bad spelling there. Com comment. Come eat now. <laughs> all right, all right. I'm going to start off with a song called You Bring Monsters. Do you know what? All guardian angels aren't good. This is true. Well, apparently it's true. I was listening to Mysterious Universe podcast several years ago, and they were telling the story about how guardian angels can be dicks sometimes, too. Especially when they run into another guardian angel that they don't like very much. Yeah, if two guardian angels of two people meet and they don't like each other, sometimes it can open up portals to other dimensions. And in those dimensions, the monsters cross over into ours. Some say this is where Bigfoot comes in. It's because two guardian angels didn't like each other. It opened up a rift. So this is a song about that. But it also is probably a song about the YouTube comments section in some of these <laughs> popular videos that I do, or maybe a trick or treat. So here it goes. <laughs> Whenever you visit, you bring monsters. I find them around after you leave. And thanks to our bloodlines, our shadows don't agree. And this is how they show us they still grieve. The first time you left the chupacabra. And she made art out of my hands. Well, I found a tuft of its hair to give to you on your return. Now I know that it will come back, but I just don't know when. The next time I found a yeti in the garden. Sleeping in my daffodils. Well, I jabbed him a week and said he couldn't sleep for free handed him a hoe and told him to till once a troll tried to kill me 
grabbed hold of my neck and started to squeeze. But my shadow would not permit it, and he told the troll to quit it. Our suffering keeps them at ease. And the Yeti goes boom, ba ba bum ba da 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 ba 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 da da ba da 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 Take another one, Yeti. Ba 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 da 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 Give it up for the Yeti. And so I'll ask you not to come back. When our eyes meet, it makes our shadows green. For one day they'll end us both. For they're fickle and they're bored And how I long for the serene Ba-dum Ba-ba-da-da-da-dee Ha! You bring monsters! Yeah, buddy! You can hear that on my album in, uh, what was it? Lost Keys and Lounge Strange all right, now we know how this works. Now we know how this works. I go to the random number generator. We got 27 folks in here right now. So we're going to do this, and I'm going to find, oh, 29. Here we go. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. All right, here it is. So, ha, oh. ha. Where's my thing? Where's my mouse? Come on, Jeremiah, you're screwing up the live stream. So the winner is Damien Wagner. Congratulations. Congratulations, Damien. Congratulations. You got the CD, the bottle opener, and the boot wallet. Hell yeah. Congratulations, Damien. I'll check out my files and, and uh, the data that I have. And if you if I got you in there, I'll email you. But if not, please email me. I'm going to put my email in the chat. If I can reach. Oh. Come on, Jeremiah. Okay, there it is. There it is. Congratulations. Congratulations, Damien. Welcome to the spooky, the spooky live stream. Oh, <laughs> I'm going to be hitting that button a lot tonight, just so you guys know. Just so you guys understand what's happening, that's going to get hit a lot. <laughs> all right, all right. It's, it's time for another song. This is a quick, a quickie. This is a quick song. I'm going to pull out the banjo for it. But it's no ordinary banjo. It's a spooky banjo! <laughs> oh god. I, I get a kick out of myself. I hope you do too. This is this I just have way too much fun sometimes, you know how it is. <laughs> so this song is another scary spooky song. It's about ghosts. What better time for a song about ghosts than at Halloween season, right? So you ever wonder how ghosts become like different power levels, like poltergeists and just regular spirits, or, you know, whatever. The ones that cause a lot of trouble, smashing things, and the ones that really can't do anything, so stand there and look creepy, right? So what's the difference? Well, I got to thinking one day, maybe there's different power levels that ghosts have, right? So maybe, if you're cremated, you have more power than if you're just buried and you're tied to that body, right? So this is a story about a ghost who was cremated and had a tragic death. So he's like working off of two things. And he gains power over the other ghosts. He's like a ghost superhero. It's called The Ghost the Ghosts Fear the Most. When 
I finally came to, I was far from the wreck of the grove. I was at the crematorium with the man running the stove. Well, I reached out to grab the man whose work kept him so trim. But when my hand met his shoulder, I just passed right through him. Then I noticed the guest list as I began to turn. And the ring in the dust where they had placed the urn. It had finally happened, yes, I finally met my end. Doomed to walk the earth until time started up again. Yeah. So I made my way home to give one last goodbye When I heard a cry of terror from the old Stanley place walking by Now they say that place is haunted and they say it kind of soft Careful so the spirits they don't move from loft to loft Seeing that I could go unnoticed, I thought I would check in Since those old Stanley folks had been as close as kin But when I walked in, I could not believe what I had saw Two specters had Miss Stanley frightened and huddled against the wall yeah. They were two spirits of thieves who died in jail and buried in the cemetery when winter's air got stale. Well, they looked at me in amazement when I told them to get lost. Oh, they would be sorry that our paths had ever crossed. They both laughed aloud and said, ghosts can't do each other harm. And to prove it, one walked up and stuck his hand right through my arm. It was then I threw a punch just to double check his test. And my fist had landed hard against his face as if it was still flesh. And then the other attacked. But it was all in vain, and soon they were scared off from the beating I had laid. And I started to wonder why I was so differently made. And I realized they were buried and I was released by the flame. Yeah. So there must be something special about a fire after death. Instead of wasting good space for an eternity's rest. So if you're some lowly dirt muncher haunting those who can't defend, know that I'm the ghost. Ghosts fear the most, and you best not test that trend. Ha! Ha 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 ha! We're we're cooking now. We're spooky cooking now. <laughs> that song is called "Ghosts That Ghosts Fear the Most." I hope you like that one. It's on my album, Lost Keys and Lounge Strange. Cheers to you out there. <laughs> mm. Yo, cheers. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I'm glad you like that banjo playing. <laughs> Cripple Creek. <laughs> First song I ever learned. Okay, we got a question from Jonathan Basham. Which boots are top row in the middle these ones right here oops 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 these ones right here these are the hondo 7875s i love this boot i wear this boot a lot just because it's got the rubber sole it fits really well um it's retan leather so it's pretty tough love this boot hondo hondo 7875 <clears throat> that was uh last month's giveaway wasn't able to get a giveaway for this month. I'm trying really hard, uh, but you know, 2020. 2020, guys, <laughs> it's tough. <laughs> Woo, cheers to that. Cheers to that, Carol. Needs a drink to settle your nerves. Cheers. Brenna made me an old fashioned. Brenna is really good at making old fashions. It's a really strong one, though, so I'm going to be nursing that one pretty much for the whole stream here good stuff good stuff you guys are awesome michael from maryland you like the tan boots yes i like those tan boots too thank you eric asks if i had to give up one pair of boots which one would it be which ones would i give up are you, are you asking which ones can you have <laughs> Is that is that the sly is that the sly question? <laughs> Good try. Good try. <laughs> uh, which ones would I Well, the rock and leather ones, I'm really not excited about. Um, those have already been promised to somebody. But yeah, those rock and leather harness boots, they just fit really weird. They they don't 
they don't fit like they should. They're just made like extra wide. So with me having that narrow foot, I, they just don't fit me. And they're, they're a 10 and a half D and I'm a 12 B. So I can't go much lower because then there just wouldn't be any more room for my foot. So they just don't fit me. They just don't fit me well. Neil, you want something to drink? I'm sure Brenna can, uh, can whip it up. I don't know if it could be there by the stream though. I don't know if we could we could make that happen, but uh, we could try. What what like what what's with those Star Trek replicators? Can't we get some of those in here and just send drinks to each other? That would be fun, wouldn't it? That would be fun. Also, a really easy way to do giveaways for boots. You just send them and then they replicate them. Actually, I hope that doesn't happen because there's some awesome custom boot makers. They'll probably still do their thing even if you can replicate leather boots. <laughs> I did not make the boot rack. It was a gift from my mother-in-law. I think it's time for another song here. And then we'll get, get into some boot content. This is another spooky song. Oh, could you guys imagine being buried alive? Could you imagine being buried alive? Well, it used to be an enormous problem. Back in the early 19th century and early 20th century, it happened on average once a week. It was that big of a problem. Can you believe that? It was such a big problem that there were several inventors like trying to make patents for different safety exit coffins. Could you imagine like waking up in a coffin and then knowing exactly what to do because they had like trainings on it like fire drills like buried alive drills <laughs> what they would do in the most simple ones is that they would tie a string to a person's hand and they would they would bury them but then they would run that string up through the ground and attach that string to a bell so if the person happened to wake up and start moving around then that bell would ring and a grave digger working the graveyard shift would come around and dig up that person hopefully before they ran out of air if they succeeded in doing that then it said that the person saved was saved by the bell now some people say that that saying actually comes from boxing but um, either way another saying came, comes out of it and that's dead ringer and that is some is when a grave digger dug up the person who was buried alive but they ran out of air before they were able to save the person and then they were just dead by the time they were exhumed so pretty sad thing that it would happen once a week there were like patents for like different air tubes uh also like bells and flags flags were used sometimes there were windows in some of these things so that like if you were being dug out and then saw the light of day it would hopefully make you hold on just a little bit longer for them to open that casket and then there were also some with escape hatches <laughs> I don't I don't think anyone should be buried with an escape hatch because then what happens if they turn into zombies? You're making it way too easy for them to just wreak havoc. It's oh, it's horrible. Anyways, this is a song about that whole idea, being buried alive, but it's told from the perspective of the person above ground. <clears throat> the grave digger. It's called Busy My Spade. And this grave digger. And this grave digger makes it his life's work to dig up people who've been buried alive. But let's do another giveaway while this song is going on. Yeah, it's true. Your grandpa got buried alive? What? Did they save him? Or what happened? What happened? That's crazy. So here it goes. This is called Busy My Spade. Same prize pack as before. Kinda. Go on home, you 
you don't know you can You tied the twine to your sister's hand Laid out the bell after she got low And I was summoned here to be the guide And to sing her off to the other side But if anything should happen You'd be the first to know if she layin' in the shade of a reaper's gown I busy my speed when I hear the bell sound No matter how low, how low How low, how low And busy my speed I busy my speed When I hear that bell now Yes, I busy my speed Busy my speed I busy my speed No one goes to hell now When I busy my speed No I worked in the bone house when I was a boy Making room for the new Pushing back the soil When I found gouges Made from within Maybe a lover, mother or brother It wasn't long till I found another Put down low and they never should have been So now at night I sing among the dead And busy my speed when I have a company man I dig and sing, dig and sing, dig and sing When I hear that bell now Yes, I busy my speed I busy my speed I busy my speed No one goes to hell now When I busy my speed Busy my spade. Based off a true story, these things actually happened. Whew. Can you imagine? Can you imagine being buried alive? That would be awful. Mm. All right, all right. Whew. Okay, we got 27 folks in here right now. Thank you all for joining me. Whew. We're going to do another random number generator for the winner here. All right, all right. I'm going to work my down, my way down from the top this time. One, two, three, four, five, six. Death like reviews. Death like reviews. You get it. <laughs> Cheers. Cheers, death like reviews. Mm, mm, mm. All right. All right. Let me show you what you want. You got the CD, of course. Gardener Hands. I'll play some music from that later. You got the the boot wallet here, which also works on the back of a phone if you really wanted to do that, and a bottle opener. Except this one, by Twisted Willow Fabrication, is the shape of a boot. And it says, Old Boots Got Soul on it. Stainless steel will last you forever. Huge thanks to Twisted Willow Fabrication. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Okay, okay. Congratulations, Death Like Reviews. Whew. All right. This is fun. You guys are the best. You guys are the best. 
Congrats. It is fitting for tonight. Death-like reviews on the spooky stream. Whoa! Oh, you guys. You guys. All right. I think it's time to do a little bit of a short segment here. You know, one of the things that I get questions of quite frequently, Jeremiah, how do you get such good deals on cowboy boots? What is the deal with you, man? I want to know how I can do this. So, that's what we're talking about today in this live stream. We're talking about three or four scary tips to get good deals on used cowboy boots. Let's get into it. <laughs> I think that's the name I wanted to do. Oh no, it was three tips to get scary good deals on used cowboy boots. Edit that in. <laughs> All right, so you guys, you guys are always asking, how do you get such good deals on cowboy boots? It's just a hunt, right? But I have three techniques for you that I use to, to try to find good deals and try to capitalize on them. And I've talked about several that I've done on Craigslist and you guys can check out the video for that after this. If you're interested, just search Craigslist in my videos and you'll find it. But there's also some other things that I do that I didn't really know that I did because of marketing. And that is search terms. This is the first big one, and this is probably the biggest one of this video that I wanna tell you guys about is your search, your, your search terms really matter. So when you're searching for cowboy boots and you type in cowboy boots, and then maybe your size, right? 9D, cowboy boots 9D, and you find a bunch of you know cowboy boots that are that size, except somebody like me with a marketing background knows that you're gonna search cowboy boots, so they capitalize on you using that keyword. What you wanna look for are the folks who don't know how to use those keywords. So you wanna search for a bunch of different things, not just cowboy boots and your size. You wanna search like brand names. You wanna search Nakona boots. Not cowboy boots, just Nakona boots, or Justin boots, or Ariat boots. Or here's a huge one that a lot of folks don't use is Western boots. So it's not just cowboy boots. You also got to use the key term Western boots when you're searching for these things. If you want to really hunt, some people who really don't know what they're posting might just use the term leather boots and that's it. Except when you search under leather boots, you're going to be searching for a while. That's like the last ditch effort for me if I need to do a video and I'm trying to find a cheap pair of boots, I'll go into the leather boots search term on any website. I'm talking about any website or even Craigslist or Facebook Marketplace if you wanted to do a um, face to face transaction too. So you search these terms and then you'll find the cheaper boots that that people are just trying to sell because they had them for a, a few days and they, they didn't like them or they got the wrong size and they're not interested in trying to do anything like they're just trying to get rid of them. Those are the terms that you got to search for because they, a lot of times, they won't use the cowboy boots keyword and that's the only way that you're going to find them if you know, you're, you're using that search term. So brand names, uh, western boots, leather boots, uh, even toe shapes, square toe is probably a really popular one that you could use. So think about the ways that people are posting boots, not just how you're going to be searching, but how people post them. And you'll find some good deals that way. Another way to make sure that you have a good deal is if the picture shows an outsole or not, like um, okay, for example, I got a I got a pair of new Yeehaw cowboy boots right now. <clears throat> Let me do this. So I got a pair on new Yeehaw cowboy boots, right? This is came and tail natural color. So if these were posted, you want to make sure that the boots have a picture of the sole, and that way you can see 
if it's really worn, and sometimes if it's an original sole, right? So, for example, if you get a boot that looks like this, if you see a picture of a boot like this, where it's got the slice in the middle of the leather outsole, that means it's been resold. So this is a half sole, and a boot like this, you don't know how much it's been worn, right? Because it could have had several resoles, like it couldn't only just be one. So you want to find boots for cheap using those keywords that have the original outsoles because then you make sure that the boot will last as long as possible because you know it hasn't had that much life taken out of it, right? So what you wanna do is find boots that are like this, right? Original outsole, um, pretty much brand new. These We picked these up for Brenna. Video coming soon of these. These are elephant. These are custom elephant boots by, by Siller. And uh, when I looked at the outsoles for this, I was like, yep, that is the original outsole. A lot of times you can tell because the bottoms here, and this is another pair that we picked up for Brenna. The bottoms have painted like right in here and usually that means that they're they are original because uh, a lot of shops a lot of resoling shops don't don't do this if they do that's really nice and it makes it a lot harder to tell if a boot has been resold or not but usually that's what i go off of the 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 easiest way to tell if a boot has been resold is if you get a line in the middle of it like that so a scary good deal on a great pair of cowboy boots has to have the original outsole at least it should for for the best i guess comfort in your purchase right you want to make sure that it has as much life left as possible huge takeaway this third point i think this is the last one you want to be patient it takes a really long time to find good deals you got to do it like every single day <laughs> it's it, it can be a really, uh, it, it's a process. You gotta hunt and you gotta enjoy the hunt. You gotta enjoy thinking about what key terms, what key, key keyword searches that people might use to post their boots and then try to search for those. So it's like trying to reverse engineer the posting process so that you can find the best boots. And it's, it's a really long process because humans are uh, unpredictable you never know what words they'll use to post something you never know so uh, that's probably where I found my best buys are when I'm searching for actual search terms that aren't cowboy boots it's always Western boots or Nakona boots cowboy boots isn't even in the name so that's a huge tip you guys uh, use those if you can so it can it can make a huge difference in the hunt and i hope those three tips helped you out what are other tips that you guys have that are spooky tips whoa whoa you guys got any other tips <clears throat> caimans yes gotta love the caimans <clears throat> sean says why no why no cowboy hats I just never was around anybody who uh, wore a lot of hats. So it, it has yet to be something that I've gotten into passionately. I'm sure it will happen eventually, though. <laughs> I'm sure it will happen eventually. I'm not a hat wearer yet. That's what happens up here in the Northeast. You don't see them around very often. I was kind of lucky even to fall into cowboy boots in the first place. So I'm sure cowboy hats are next. We'll see what I do straw hats. I like straw hats, but they're not really cowboy hats. If they misspell the name, that is a great, great, great one, Wes. I have, I have seen that before, and I've also gotten a good deal on that as well. So huge, huge... Um, huge one Lucasi is one that is misspelled often and also Nakona is misspelled often too sometimes they use a's instead of the o's 
So definitely huge tip right there. That can be the that can be the fourth one. Misspelling. That's a really good one. Mullen says, if it's got metal tips and really creased up vamp, you know they're used as hell. True that. True. True. Cool. I'm always down for a cowboy hat. Let's see what happens. I'm down. All right, all right. We got, I feel something weird going on here. Something's, something's different with this stream, but let's, let's cover that after this, right? scary finding boots for a good buck just enjoy the search just enjoy the hunt so here's to finding a new treasure and for cheap for good measure yeah. find those cheap deals out there using those weird little three quick tips Okay, okay. That was a segment. That was a segment. And we're going to get into some more music now. And of course, that I will um, be happy to answer your questions if I see any come through. So, yeah. Let's see what happens. Oh, what? What is, what is that? What is that? Something's going on with this stream. Okay, wait. I got a little message on the screen here. Okay, so... As you guys know, my dad has the Twisted Wheel of Fabrications thing, and he seemed to just, like, crash my system there for a second. It was really weird. Uh, oh, there's a little message here. It's like I was hacked. It says, it says, Twisted Willow Fabrication wants to do a small giveaway to show the appreciation of positivity in this world. Wow, did you really have to crash my system like that? Man, I, okay, 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 okay. So, <laughs> he says he's doing a giveaway right now for a little keychain like this. But it says, step in the strongest way instead of what this one says. This one says, kick ass and take names. And they picked and they picked a they picked a person that just showed a lot of positivity and support in the stream Lucas White Lucas White the one of a kind keychain goes to you from Twisted Willow Fabrication they they just like seeing the positivity in the streams and wanted to support it like that I don't see the reason to go and hack me like that when it happens. Awesome. Huge thanks to TwistedWheelFabrication.com for supporting awesome positivity. And congrats to, to Lucas for winning that keychain. That doesn't, that doesn't come from me. You'll be hearing from Twisted Willow on that one. Whew, that was really cool. That was really cool. Remember, you guys can find out more about Twisted Willow Fabrication at TwistedWheelFabrication.com. Working a whole bunch of different kinds of uh, design, engineering, l making stuff out of metal, w sending these products all over the world. Like the stuff that he makes is crazy awesome. You can check some of it out at twistwheelfabrication.com. And of course, you guys saw the shop already in the uh, in the Ariat video, right? That was cool. That was a fun video. All right, back to the music. Back to the music here. <laughs> Doug causing trouble again. <laughs> All right. So, ghosts, ghost stories, and spooky stories. The, the spooky stories. Whoa! The spooky stories. Whoa. Well, spooky stories, they have a sad aspect too, don't they? Because somebody always loses somebody in order for there to be ghosts or to be monsters. So, it makes you think, like, 
what happened before that. They're kind of sad stories. And I have a really, really sad ghost song here. This is an old Scottish ballad. And uh, it's, about, it's about a woman who, whose three sons leave home and, uh, and they die. But then they all come back as, as ghosts for one night only. Like they escaped death's grasp for one night. Perhaps that night was Halloween. So she spends as much time with them as possible and does whatever she can. This is called The Wife of Usher's Well. And it's the saddest ghost story that I know. There was a wife at Usher's Well, and a wealthy wife was she. She had three stout and stalwart sons, and she sent them out to sea. But they had not been a month from her, not one month and a day, till cold, cold death came o'er the land. And he stole those boys away She said, I wish the wind would never more blow Nor fish swim in the flood Till my three boys come home to me In earthly flesh and blood In earthly flesh and time when the nights are long and murk the Collins waves three boys come home and their hats were made of the bark that neither grew in any wood nor down by any wall only at the gates of paradise did that Birkin tree grow tall so she has laid the table braid with the bread and blood red wine come eat and drink my bonny boys come eat and drink oh mine oh mother dear we cannot eat nor can we drink the wine for cold cold death is the Lord of all, and to him we must resign. For the green, green grass is at our heads, and the clay is at our feet. And how your tears come tumbling down to wet the winding. braid and she's made it long and deep then she laid it all with golden thread and she's lulled those boys to sleep but the cock he had not crowed but once to welcome in the day when the eldest to the youngest says brothers we must away before the cock does crawl the day does adore and the churning worm does chide and if we are missed out of our place then a sad pain we moan by for the green green grass is at our heads and the clay is at our feet and how your tears come tumbling down to it the winding sheet to it the winding sheet she said i wish the wind would never more 
blue, no fish swim in the flood, till my three boys come home to me, in earthly flesh and blood, in earthly flesh and blood. Old little Scottish ghost ballad there for you. Super sad song. Super sad. Too bad the the sons couldn't stay for longer. Whoa. Hit the like button everywhere. Thank you, thank you, thank you, Carol. Hey, Isaac. Good to see you. Hey, Juan. Thank you so much. I'm glad you like the music. Hey, King. Jonathan. Hola. I could do some Western songs in a little bit. We still have some more spooky songs to get you. Spooky! Whoa! Spooky, spooky. <clears throat> All right. I think it's time to get into the murder ballads of this evening. We got a whole series of them. I have another banjo song here for you. <clears throat> but also another giveaway. This one's a little different. This one's a little different. Put the obligatory tuning a banjo joke in the comment. Oh. Don't buy print boots, Thomas says. All right. So, up next... Did I have another? Where'd my other thing go? I thought I had another one. <clears throat> Up next is, for, for a giveaway, we have another CD, another boot wallet, bam, and, <laughs> and a fancy dancy JW Boot Company shirt. Mm hmm, hmm. Who likes a JW Boot Company? And then also on the back, it says, you looking at my boots? <laughs> this is a large t-shirt. If anybody is interested in getting this, uh, large Hanes. So this is up for grabs right now. JW Boot Company, huge thanks to them for sending me the shirt. Awesome, awesome, awesome stuff. And remember that if you guys want to get 10% off their boots, use code JC10 at checkout. You can get 10% off your order when you use that code at jwbootcompany.com. So that's what we're doing right now. I'm going to put in the comments here. Bam. There we go. There we go. And I'm going to do my little scrolly deal right there. All right, so, oh wait, no, I was playing a banjo song. <clears throat> and we're playing murder ballads now. So this is a song about a, a murderer who, uh, who likes to use a knife. This, the song is called Whetstone Moan, like sharpening a knife on a whetstone. Show up at your window with a slight sip of your tone To give you the whetstone moan on your night alone A ring can stop a leak but it won't plug a hole And it can't chain away partners of the soul I come around, round, round Since that moon has shown off your gown I come around, around, around since the moon shone off your gown. Yeah, don't you mind the shine that come from my grind. I take you down to the willow with a bottle of wine. At the end of the night, I'll make so that you're mine. Yes, in the end, you will be mine. Cool river, 
to be read by lights. A big low moon throws shadows from the great willow's height. And I was the one that started stood beside you while you were donned in white. So I'll give you the whetstone moan by the end of the night. I come around, 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 since the moon shone off your gown. I come around, 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 since the moon shone off your gown. Red dawn come and shine upon me alone As I take a seat on the cobblestone The fuzz come around and ask me where she's gone As they notice my bloody blade and my soaked through clothes I come around, round, around Since that moon shone off your gown Whetstone Moan off of my album Lost Keys and Lounge Strange that I did with my buddy Jake Boucher. Mm-mm-mm. That album is full of creepy, creepy stuff. So when you listen to it, be sure to come into it with an open mind because it is a weird album. <laughs> All right, 29 folks in here. Thank you so much for joining me today. We're going to be doing a random number generator now for the JW Boot Company shirt. Here we go. Here we go. Bam. Okay. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Whoa. Here it is. Here it is. So the winner is. Oh, geez. Where's my thing? Eric, one up, one Thomas. You get it. You got the shirt. You got the shirt, the boot wallet, and the CD. Congrats, Eric, with a three. Cheers to you. Thank you so much for being here. Woo, you guys are the best. You guys are the best. Congratulations. Congratulations. Dogs like the music. Yes. I got two dog fans now for real. My dog and your dog. <laughs> All right. Mm. JW t shirt. Woo. Banjos are supposed to be hard to tune. <laughs> Sometimes. There's lots of jokes of banjos being out of tune. Lots of them. <laughs> all right so we'll continue here with the murder ballads we'll continue here with the spooky songs because it's not always ghosts sometimes it's humans being spooky <laughs> oh man you guys put up with a lot <laughs> I love you guys. You guys are the best. Thank you so much for always engaging with me, watching my stuff. I really appreciate the fact that uh, that you let me into your lives like this. It's uh, it's 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 pretty incredible. It's pretty incredible. Thank you so much for being here and for all of your support as well. This is a song about a con artist who. Uh, takes on the personalities of the people that he's around in order to get what he wants from them. Sort of like reflecting their own personality back at them. Kind of like he's wearing a suit of mirrors.
With a customized charm, he rolls into the room. His three hounds at his back. Entering with him is the light of the moon. To light the dark within you, showing you what you lack. He has no title of power, but assumes the air. It is mysteriously allowed. It is his suit that makes him familiar to you. Yes. And it brings you guard it down. Now, tell your mother to take you back home. Tell your mother my fears. Tell your mother to take you back home. And be afraid of the man in the suit. It was an old country ball in the Smiths and Barn. A wealthy family, twas said, in his usual attire under another name. Into that ball he'd tread. Now, Gerald Smithson owned the mine down the hill. He held parties as he pleased. After a little ale, he told the man in the suit. His wealth made him sleep easily. Now the man in the suit found young Mary Smithson, the trophy that made Gerald spouse. Mary had never met someone quite like herself. Soon offered him a tour of the house. She giggled and flirted as he jested his way. From different rooms she would lead. Till they came to the bedroom where he sat on the bed. It was a good mattress indeed. Hey, tell your mother to take you back home. Tell your mother my fears. Tell your mother to take you back home. And be afraid of the man in the suit of Mears. Gerald Smithson went looking for his wife in dire need of a waltz. He went to the house and he called from downstairs. He heard only the echoes of his calls. Climbing the staircase, he went to his room. A cool breeze as he opened the door. His mattress was thin and there were only a few dollars left. Mary lay bare on the floor. That one is on Gardner Hands, so everybody who won tonight does get that on that on this CD. But it is also on Spotify, Apple Music, Amazon Music, YouTube, wherever you listen to music, you can find it there, as well as a whole bunch of other stuff. So that was Man in the Suit of Mirrors. Thank you so much. I appreciate that. Thank you, Wad. What are the most comfortable boots that I have in my collection, Wad says. Well, I have two kinds of most comfortable. I have the forever made mine comfortable, which is these Boule 7031s. I do have a video up uh, that's called like why I never share my cowboy boots or why I don't share my cowboy boots. And I actually put an endoscope in here so people can see all of my toe grooves. That's why I say that leather insoles are the best is because they actually take the shape of your foot and it's really unparalleled comfort when a boot has the shape of your foot and you've been standing in it for 14 years. Like, it's crazy how comfortable a boot can be. So, I would say this one. However, you can kind of see 
that it was a little bit too small for me when I got it because you can see how the leather is folding over the welt here. So this boot really wasn't my true size when I got it, and I had to get this one because they didn't have any B-widths in the store when I got cowboy boots, when I got my first pair. But I have to say, this year, the most comfortable boot that I have, like that I really enjoy from the get-go and has been like mind-blowingly comfortable um, since I got it are these Nakonas, 12B, uh, shrunken shoulder, Nakonas, uh, super comfortable. Uh, I love Nakonas. That's what, like been, a, been a, my mind-blowing discovery for me this year is just going down the rabbit hole of what Nakonas used to be, not that they are anymore. This is a vintage pair made in the USA. The old Nakonas, uh, the old majority of Nakonas were made in the USA and they used to do a bunch of different widths. I mean, I even found that 14 and a half quadruple A boot recently. So huge respect to what Nakonas used to be. And I can only hope that they uh, come back to that in the future because I think it was a really cool marketplace for them. And I really respect that. So those old Nakonas are super comfortable, I found. Super comfortable. Love it. We should all respect our mothers, Eric. She does everything when we're sick, healthy. God bless all the mothers in this world. Yes, that was a great comment. I agree, Eric. My mom's on the stream right now. Let's give it up for all the moms. They're the real winners here. Woo, go mom. Go, Mom. That finding the quadruple A one was crazy, Katie. I couldn't believe it when I saw it. I didn't believe it. And that was one of those ones that was under, like, uh, Western boots or something like that. That was another one. Those search terms, I'm telling you, they go a long way to finding crazy things like that. So be sure to include some of those weird search terms in your hunt for cowboy boots online or on Facebook Marketplace or Craigslist. Uh, it makes a huge difference. Yeah, moms. Yeah, moms. All right, so that pretty much ended the planned out portion of the stream. Thank you so much for joining me. I don't have anything else to give away, although I will stay here for a little bit longer if you guys are interested in sort of hanging out for a little bit. I'm cool with talking more boots if you guys have any questions i'm cool with playing more music i know there was a request for a western song i could totally play that now uh i can play the new song that i have called one shot if anybody is interested in hearing that and it does have a western theme and actually uses doc holiday as the main character because you gotta do it you gotta use doc holiday as a main character when you can you know what i'm saying oh all right so i'll play that If you guys have any questions or want to chat on a different topic, just let me know in the comments. And uh, if I catch it, then that's what we'll do. This song is about trading a 45 caliber bullet for a shot of whiskey in the Old West. Some say that's why we call a shot a shot today because you used to be able to trade it for the 45 caliber bullet but it could only be for the 45 caliber bullet because that was the most popular ammunition during the time and uh, could go the furthest as being used as currency but a lot of people also say that that's just BS and that never happened it's just a random story that the internet made up just to mess with people but either way it makes for a damn good story Stories don't have to be true. Stories don't have to be true to be good. Most stories aren't true. The best stories aren't. <laughs> so this is called One Shot. off the trail with Wyatt, Bat, James, and Virgil, and we were thirsty for some whiskey but had not a penny to our names. 
My boots were too dusty and my muscles too tired To sit with some inbreds and lie through my teeth for a few card games So the other four boys got a table and I moseyed on up to the bar They often joked there was more silver on my tongue than in all of Tombstone I said, barkeep, we came in only with our guns and good looks We ain't good with the broom, ain't good with the books But a drink would liven up our weary bones What do you say? And he said, empty your wheel gun out on the bar and we'll see how many rounds there are. It's one shot for one shot and I only deal in 45s. One shot for the whole lot and that leaves you with one shot for your life. Well, I looked at the bullets, but I looked longer at the bottle. As much as I hated to part with those five rounds, life's for taking chances. So I told the boys we had a deal, and they all came up for their drinks. Then my eyes stopped at the stairs, and Big Nose Kate and I were exchanging glances. Last I saw her was when the rangers took me from her bed, but she helped me escape before they could put a rope around my neck. She walked on over to where the mouth breathers were playing. One spouted a curse at her. I guess they weren't playing with a whole deck. I said, you got one shot to apologize, or I'll put one shot between your eyes. One shot for one shot, and I only deal in 45s. One shot is all you got, yeah, you got one shot. said something dumb like he don't apologize to whores so I figured he was asking it's all hips so I kept my word a la tet then I was empty but I hadn't spilled a drop his friend made a move but I was quick to my knife yes he knew he'd been beat by the shine of the blade I finally drank and said give me your bullets and I'll let you leave with your life Bought the boys and Kate's another round one shot for one shot and I only deal in 45s. One shot is all you got. You got one shot for your life. Yeah, one shot now. What you gonna do with it? <laughs> one shot. You can find that on Spotify, Apple Music, Amazon Music, and everywhere you listen to music. Just released it a couple weeks ago on all those platforms. Woo! Yes. Yes. All right. Neil is still up over there in Scotland. Cheers, Neil. Cheers. Man, it's got to be late over there for you. It's got to be like 3 o'clock in the morning. Cheers to all the international folks staying up for this. They're getting up early. Oh. You're the best. Ah. Woo. That's what I'm talking about. Thank you, thank you. Thank you, Alan. This is uh, Martin Guitar, DCX1E. I love the sounds of it. Love it, love it. What tuning? is my guitar in. It's just in standard right now. I have been moving to drop D, though, occasionally during this live stream. <clears throat> you definitely had time to sleep. It's 2 a.m. in Scotland. Whew. Cheers to that. Cheers to that. You can find some good used boots on eBay. Really cheap. Yeah, that's a good place to... Definitely start with those search terms that we mentioned early on in the live stream. eBay, Facebook Marketplace, Craigslist, Poshmark. Oh, I'm sure there's others. But all good places to start. All good places. Oh, size 15. Damn. That is tough. That is tough. Might have to go with... Uh, custom sometimes right 
Jeez. Have I ever played with a resonator? Yeah, I used to have a resonator guitar. It was fun. Definitely a cool sound. Uh, I think there's a video of me playing the resonator early, like one of my first YouTube videos, playing a resonator guitar. If you search Darlin' Corey, I played Darlin' Corey on a resonator guitar on the YouTube channel. So if you search that, I think it's like 2010, though, like 10 years ago. That's an old one. You might be able to find it. Thomas has a question for you. If you want to get a pair of real alligator Western Square Toes boots, but at a low price, that's going to be tough. That that would be tough because on every, pretty much every platform where I've seen alligator boots early and there's like a bidding, it just gets crazy. So it might start out low and you might really get excited, but it's like five days away until the end of the auction. And you're like, okay, I gotta, gotta watch it, gotta watch it. We can might we might be able to get these, but you can't bid too soon, right? Because if you bid right away, then you just show your whole hand. So you just sort of watch it, right? You don't want to lay your cards down yet and put your bid out there because then somebody's just gonna overbid you, and then you're just gonna be disappointed because you did your entire bid and there's still like three days left on the thing, and who knows? Maybe that other person might have forgot to go on there later. So you still have an, a chance, even though your bid, your top bid might be really cheap. So you definitely should wait to put in your top bid until it's closer to the end of the auction. But still, all the alligator boots that I've seen, all the sea turtle boots that I've seen, somebody always finds them. And they always go for more than what I want to spend at that specific time on a pair of boots. So I never really luck out on the alligator or any of those really high-end exotics that you're talking about. But if you really wanted to hunt and spend a lot of time, I'm sure you could luck out somewhere. It's just like how much time do you want to actually put into it? You know, it, it does take a lot of time to find all that stuff. And then you also got to count on somebody else not finding it and using those same search terms. So it's definitely a battle. Uh, it's definitely a battle. I would have to say that the best price alligator boot that I have seen out there would be the Tacovas. It's not the best looking alligator boot by far. That's for damn sure. But the best, the cheapest alligator boot that you can get new is the Tacovas one, as far as I've as far as I've seen so far. So that's what I would say. But like I said, I don't really like the look of it. That side seam, that big fat side seam without any design on the shaft, I would rather just save my money and get a, like a nice uh, design all over the boot rather than just a plain, plain leather shaft with these chunky side seams on it. Not a real big fan of that Tacova's alligator boot, to be honest. Favorite? country artists Johnny Cash of course uh, also also oh geez what the hell is his name his name um, he also he's he also starred in true grit with uh, John Wayne somebody knows put it in the chat help me out with the with the brain fart uh, Merle Haggard Willie Nelson love Willie Nelson I've been on a huge Willie Nelson kick recently um, so I would have to say, the, oh, George Jones. Love George Jones. He's awesome. Uh, Emmy Lou Harris. Alison Krauss. Um, if we want to look at the female artists quickly there. Uh, Dolly Parton. The Trio albums. You guys, you guys know the Trio albums. Classic country stuff, man. Love that stuff. Love it. Love it. George Strait, yeah. The possum, you know it, buddy. You know it. Well, Jennings, of course. Yeah, he's in that list too. Definitely. If I if if I'm if I'm talking about Waylon, if I'm talking about Johnny Cash, uh Merle Haggard, Willie Nelson, of course I know Waylon Jennings. <laughs> yeah, buddy. Dwight Yoakam. <laughs> Never got too much into it, but I respect the guy. I respect the guy so much he's got so much worth that work ethic and so much talent the two of those together he, that's why he's so successful love love and respect the guy just never got that much into his music 
All right, you guys are the best. Guitars and Cadillacs. All right, I'm gonna play another spooky song, but a human spooky song. Spooky! Whoa! <laughs> it just doesn't get old for me. Maybe you guys are already over it, but I'm not over it. Marty Robbins. Yes, I love the Gunfighter Ballads. Love the Gunfighter Ballads album. That's one of my favorites. Big Iron. I got that on vinyl. I love that album. This song is called I Can't Play Big Iron. It's copyrighted. I'll get a YouTube strike if anybody finds out that I did that. That's a good question, A.D. Wilson. I'll answer that in one second. This song is called One for My Romeo and Julietas. It's another spooky human evil villain song, if that's a genre now. See, my biggest fear is getting my fingers cut off. It's losing a finger, right? As you can see, I kind of need them. So every time somebody gets their fingers lopped off in some movie, I'm always like, ooh, cringe. Oh, I don't like that. So one day I was doing some therapy writing and I wrote this song about a guy who does exactly that when people don't pay him back. That's right, he's a lone shark who really likes cigars. And he's got two cigar cutters. One for his Romeo and Giulietas, and, well, there's a song here. I'm familiar with your kind, my friend, and it's unlikely you'll have a respectable end but me. I'm a businessman, and I know life like this cigar in my hand. Too many people don't know if you cut it too high. It will unravel and leave you dry. I keep one for my Romeo and Julietas, the other for your fingers. You say you want my money for a trip to Vegas. I will make sure that you come back to see us. I thought she was smarter than this, my only interests are cigars and interests. You're good for it is all you say, but you ain't won nothing since that horse lucky day. And so you see my dilemma now, and the need for collateral before you leave town. I keep one for my Romeo with Julietas, the other for your fingers. You say you want more money for a trip to Vegas. I have no confidence that you'll come back to see us. No. I'm beginning to get impatient here. As you compromise my wealth. Since you don't use those fingers for counting cash. I guess I will just help myself. Yeah. I guess I should go into a little bit more detail for those of you who are still curious. See, part of my living come from gambling on the gamblers And I like to keep those who keep a good handle But you come a bad hand, so I'll give you a bad hand Instead of folding you and making you a dead man If you're still looking to leave here with green You better be willing to part with your pinkies Yeah, while well, I wait for you to make some digits You have to leave some digits here with me I keep one for my Romeo with Juliet's eyes The other for your fingers you say you want my money for a trip to Vegas And I will make sure that you come back to see us Yeah da -da 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 -da. <laughs> 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 
one for my Romeo and Julieta. <laughs> Spooky! <laughs> oh, man. Cheers. Cheers to you. Mm. See you, Thomas. Yo. Thank you, Drifter. Thank you. Love it how you guys come in here and chat. I thought it was really cool that uh, you guys were chatting up before the stream, too. I was trying out a little bit of a new new system there by, you know, warming it up. Warming up the music. and Because st sometimes I'll just start and people are like, oh, he's just starting. I'm not sure how to feel about this. And then I wanted to, you know, do that intro music with all the starting soon stuff. Actually came from uh, Lucas. That idea came from him on one of the previous streams. So I tried it out, and I think I liked it. I think that was pretty fun. I hope that you guys weren't too uh, anxious about it. But uh, I thought it was fun. It was like a movie theater, right? It's like all those ads that you get before all the trailers at the movie theater. But we just skipped over the trailers here. No trailers here. <laughs> Do you know what tin pants are? I don't know what tin pants are. I'm, I'm assuming that they're a product made in oz maybe tin man tin man entrepreneur tin pants i don't know what they are i'm probably sound like a jerk everybody everybody on stream knows what they are it's like jeremiah how can you not know what tin pants are <laughs> you were on a date and you called it early you what what drifter drifter how could you leave somebody hanging to come watch a live stream. This is recorded. <laughs> Dates aren't recorded. You can't go back after the fact and re-see how the date went. You can always watch this. Why'd you leave a date to be here for? Well, anyways, I appreciate it, Drifter. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. I'll have to get you on my Valentine's Day list, I guess. <laughs> right, Christian? It's real cold. It's real cold. <laughs> Dude, it was a bad date. <laughs> Carol. Oh, you guys are the best. <laughs> oh. <laughs> okay, I got one more song. What kind of mood are you guys in? You guys in like a a murdery sort of crime violent mood or you want to end the spooky stream on a, an up note actually i'm gonna pull i'm gonna pull out the banjo for another banjo song i think this is the last one i'm gonna do because it is getting hot in this room here with all these lights Whew. i'm gonna need a breather here in a second drifter left his girl to be here thank you drifter thank you that means a lot <clears throat> I'm afraid to do that that bros before saying for out of respect. But cheers, buddy. Cheers. Fist pound. <laughs> you want a western song? Okay. Well, I got to I can do sort of a western song. <clears throat> And a monster song. We'll do we'll do this one and end it off with this. Maybe. We'll see how it goes. We'll see how it goes. Oh, I'm gonna get canceled. Oh no. Oh no, don't cancel me. I just started. <laughs> This is a song about a dream that I had once that had the Jeepers Creepers monster in it. You know, the one with the wings? Super scary, man. Except, uh, he was protecting a swamp, wetlands, where people like to go get their water to make moonshine because it makes the best moonshine. 
but only if you dare to risk the trip. Cause you might die at the hands of this monster. See, the trick is, is to go down there with a blood relative. Then the monster won't bother you. It'll keep an eye on you, see if you get split up. But it doesn't bother family. It bothers friends, and it bothers folks going solo. This is called Stay With The Ones You Love. You take the truck down there In the heat of the day You'll find nobody has a question to ask The house is bowed up The lines are down And the roads are just mowed down grass Yeah, there's only one reason Why you would make this trip It's that the marsh waters make the best shine But there's a wretched winged Evil local and he's only got blood on his mind When it come time to pick your company Yeah, you best not pick your friends, no And you best not go alone Or you'll be sure to find an end You must keep your head and stay with your stay alive is to stay with the ones you love hey now don't you waste no time dip that bucket down and fill it till it overflows Stay close to each other with your eyes on the trees And make sure no one is left alone Walking up through the greenery You might find someone not as lucky as you Caught in the shadow of a wretched local With no loved ones to accompany him through when it come time to pick your company, yeah, you best not pick your friends, no. And you best not go alone, or you'll be sure to find an end. You must keep your head and stay with your blood. Yeah, the only way to stay alive is to stay with the ones you love. Stay with the ones you love. You can find, you find that one on uh, Lost Keys and Lounge Strange. I did it with Jake Boucher. Jake Boucher. Yo. Mm, mm, mm. Thank you, Jonathan. I appreciate it. Man needs more popularity, but I am cool with the popularity that I have at any given moment. I mean, if there was just one, two, three people on this stream right now, I'd be so grateful for you guys spending time with me. There's 23 of you right now, and I think that is incredible. Thank you so much for sticking with me through this concert. You guys are the best. I don't care how much popularity I have. If I always stay at 30, I am going to be one happy man. You guys are awesome. You guys are so cool. Woo! I got another song. <clears throat> that I was thinking of while I was playing that one that you guys might like. Since I was playing that, I was like, you know, that's that's not super Western. It's not really, I got, I got more Western songs than that, you know? So is Mandy's last name your real one? 
JC. What's her, is it her last name on this one Lou? No, but that's not her last name either. My last name is not Craig. It is my middle name. We'll leave my last name up for debate because it's really, really beneficial to have two names. <laughs> it just is. <laughs> this is a song called That Steel Never Cold for Long. I guess I was kind of inspired to write it after I heard Big Iron, except the main character is female. You see, in all these old folk and country songs, in all these murder ballads, the woman is always the victim, and the man is always sorry about it at the end. One day I decided, you know what? I want to change that up and flip it on its head a little bit, just because, why not? So in this one, the female is the villain. The men are the victims, and she's not sorry about it at the end. Was the colors that her mother wore the alliance that her father swore she was born with cold steel and lead alone but that steel never cold for long brought up on a winter's dune she was cradled in a sickle moon men were doomed because this was her home but that steel never cold for long Her first man treated her like his last girl oh. And right away he wasn't long for this world And he lays disturbed now Spooky a cool clear night and mentor she found the man that she sent for the sheriff's son met her at the door yeah that still never called for long mm. he saw the scar on her shoulder stopped in the heat and he told her he's colder now after the roar yeah that still never called for long And she leaves like nothing happened at all The sheriff arrived, could not believe what he saw And forgets the law now finds her on the county line he says i see you doing just fine i clipped you last time but consider yourself gone yeah that's you never go for long only sound is the quivering trees they pull up and sheriff falls to his knees she leaves knowing she was never wronged yeah that's you never go for long for long Woo! <laughs> another murder ballad there for you to end off this spooky live stream spooky Woo! <laughs> oh you guys are the best Woo! you guys are the best I could have played Jesse James I know that song Levi Levi on stream I didn't see him coming here 
Woo! You guys are the best. Thank you so much for hanging out with me tonight. You guys are the best. Uh, congrats to all the winners. I'm working on doing another cowboy boot giveaway, so uh, it just takes a little bit extra time to make those things happen. Uh, lots of outreach, lots of email, lots of planning. So it's it's in the works. Don't worry. I'm trying to get you guys boots. I just love doing those too. So um, you can bet your ass that I am trying to get some more giveaways going on the channel. But 2020 is a bitch. You guys know how it is. You guys know how it is. My mom is saying they don't even like when you sing. You can sing. You can sing. You can sing when you want. I don't mind when you sing. It's cool. It's cool, Mom. She's just not the best singer. I'm not the best singer either. Okay? I'm just saying. I'm just saying. I like when my mom sings, though. It's nice. It's nice. It's always nice. Yeah, right, Jonathan? Crying my eyes out. You guys are the best. All right. Congrats. I'm going to be running another one of these. I want to do more of these live streams on a regular basis, but I can't do them as frequently as when the pandemic started. You guys remember, I was doing them like every day there for three weeks, and it just got to be a lot uh, because these setups is just, it takes a lot of time. So then I didn't do any for a while. I was kind of sporadic, but now I want to start doing them more frequently, like maybe once every two weeks or so, and I will have some random little giveaways here. Hopefully I will have some boots to give away in the process with that um and then you will also see segments of these videos being posted on the channel as just regular videos so um it's it's a it's a fun little thing to just kind of do this live with you guys it gives me a, a cool energy to then i can put on the channel and sort of uh keep things you know kind of spicy can keep it uh exciting and not have every video be exactly the same. I wouldn't want you guys getting bored or anything. So we're trying something. I'm going to be taking segments from this video and parsing it out over the next couple weeks. And then I'll do the same on the next concert. So you guys uh, just, just know what to expect. If you guys have already seen these ones, you don't have to watch the video again. I know some of you guys do. And I think that's really cool. There will be some editing, uh, extra editing things added in in the videos. But you guys saw it here first, and you guys are the best for that. Yes, giveaway boots. Yeah. I do have a tip jar. Thank you, Lucas. I do have a tip jar. If anybody's interested, it's at jeremiahcraig.com slash tips. Only if you can. Don't worry about it. My, uh, my goal is to, my whole business plan is to, you know, hopefully get companies to sponsor rather than uh, trying to, Rely. Ooh, there was a code there. <sighs> Rewind that and get the boot. Boot. I'm gonna have to blur that. Um. My whole goal is to get the companies to do that because they're the ones that benefit most from all of this. Like trying to get boots in and show you guys. Um. So they should pay for that, right? Not you guys. I want to work on like a freemium model, kind of like YouTube. Just YouTube is as a platform. I'm, I want to do that for this, right? What is, what is, hook you up with some boots? Carol wants to get hooked up. Let's all, let's all, why can't you hook us all up, Eric? Let's do it. I don't know what my head size is. We'll, we'll talk about that. We'll see what happens. You got a company that might be helpful? Email me, jeremiah.craig at jeremiahcraig.com. We'll work it out. We'll, we'll, we'll do stuff. King, that means the world to me. I just appreciate the fact that you were here. Like I said, I'm not trying to rely on you guys for a living or anything. I just want to be. I just want to be here for you. I want to. I want to play music for you. I want to make content for you. I want to have a good time with you. Um, and I really don't feel like you should pay me for that, <laughs> because there are other people who will. So with that, cheers. I hope you guys have a spectacular weekend, spectacular Halloween. My next live stream will hopefully be um, after Halloween, maybe November 1st. We'll see how it goes. Um, but I am live streaming this coming week with a bootmaker, so be sure to watch out for that. We're going live on Thursday. 
for another Ask the Bootmaker. So, you guys are the best. I absolutely think you, 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 I love you guys. I love you guys, okay? This is so cold, you can see the thing. You can see the steam rising from it. These, these containers, they're good. They keep this stuff cold. All right, I love you guys. Cheers, I hope you have a spectacular evening. Thanks to everybody internationally who stayed up for this. And uh, thanks to the Drifter for um, just just leaving his date, just ditching his date at some bar and coming home and watching this. <laughs> you guys are the best. Thanks so much. Peace, everybody. Have